Hello everyone, Tactical Skull here, bringing you the first Pelican Survival Kit that I will be reviewing. This kit is the Pelican 1060 Micro Case that comes in the Micro Case series. On the outside, I put a wrap of paracord onto the carabiner that it comes with. Now this paracord can be easily detached using the paracord, just by grabbing it and pulling it out. And you have about 15 or 20 feet of paracord for shelter use. Now this case is watertight or water resistant I should say with a rubber lining on the inside that helps it protect from the water and it is also cut crush proof as most of the Pelican cases. You just snap it open and open it up like that. On off the very top you get this in an emergency stop do not panic stop think observe and plan and this just has some uh, signaling instructions uh, survival suggestions, knots, stuff like that. The next thing I have is this uh, notebook cutout, sort of, with again some common knots, uh, Morse code, metric unit conversions, uh, a ruler, a multiplication chart, and some conversions. The next thing is a paper with all the Morse code letters, numbers, and full stop, comma, and query. It's the International Morse Code. As you go further into the kit, you have this Mylar blanket, emergency blanket. This modified mini mag light with a, uh, three LEDs. It's quite bright. And three different modes, including SOS and strobe. Then you have these uh, Chlorflock water purification tablets. There's four of them here. You should have more, but I just I was just able to fit four in this kit. Uh, four batteries wrapped in electrical tape. A cheap Swiss Army knife, I guess. It's not really a Swiss Army knife, just a uh, multi-tool. Some hotel soap. Yes. Um, in a survival situation, hygiene is very important. Um, and I just got this from a hotel. And, you know, this thing lasted a, a good amount of time, uh, 10 days after multiple uses per day. So in a survival situation, you obviously wouldn't clean yourself every day, so that even, it'll, even, it'll last even longer. Uh, some regular chapstick, some Coleman waterproof camp matches. Uh, these aren't stormproof, but they are waterproof. There's 40 of these in the small box. A small water resistant container. Uh, this is made with two bottle cap ends just glued together. And inside I have some cotton balls for fire starting. Then I have a small Ziploc bag just folded up to fit in the kit. A bottle opener. This is just one of those keychain tools that I took and just added in this kit. Uh, quarters in a small baggie um, for an urban survival situation if you have this on you you could uh, use a payphone if you find one or you can just have a dollar and change next thing I have is this small um, precision screwdriver with bits on the bottom you rotate that into the bit you want and you just switch these out then I have a uh, cheap lighter not a big it's just one of those Chinese ones doesn't matter as long as you have fire on you some nail clippers, just the simple small ones. Two birthday candles. Uh, it, these will last longer than a match. You know, once you get a fire going, uh, you can use these to light that. Then I have a uh, fire striker here, just a Coleman um, magnesium, just the regular strikers. Then I have this uh, water storage bag, uh, one liter, I think. Uh, you uh, would put water in here, then use one of those water purification tablets, and you have clean water after you boil it. A tiny, tiny glow stick. Uh, you can use this to mark your shelter, to see a map or something. Just an overall nice use. And then have a tube of super glue. You can uh, patch up wounds with this, or just use for construction for shelter. Uh, green. Uh, duct tape wrapped around a uh, cut off big pen 
It's not the best duct tape because it is colored, so the adhesive is not the best. Uh, I would recommend Gorilla Tape. And this thing is my Altoids survival kit on the bottom with a fire Altoids kit, a mini Bic lighter, and a pencil. I will be doing a review on this, so stay tuned for that. Have uh, two non non woven uh, sponges. They're sterile for wounds. Then I have some salt and pepper packets, it's just used to flavor food. And then finally, I have this uh, garbage bag uh, for use of shelter. And that empties out the kit. Um, the kit is uh, pretty small. Uh, I don't know exact the exact dimensions. I'll put them in the description. But like I said, it is water watertight and crush resistant. Um, this rubber liner does come off. So you can just fold it up and take it out. But I would not recommend doing that because then uh, you lose some of the waterproof uh, properties. So that's my Pelican Survival Kit. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and comment. And if you want to see future review videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.